Hey guys, I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at another great app for your Android device and this is called Gravity Screen and the cool thing is that this works for 99% of Android devices as long as you have this little hardware, uh, little type thing in your Android device that can um, detect the angle your phone is at or when you're playing little racing games it knows uh, which way you're turning your device um, as long as you have the little functionality um, this app is going to work flawlessly with your Android device so let me go and show you the full functionality of it. So right now you got two sensors. You have pocket sensor and you have table sensor. Um, and currently this is a free app. I'm using the free app. You can go and get the pro version if you want to get the full range for table sensor. Um, you can use pocket sensor any angle. But I'll go and explain that in just a little bit. Um, so let me go and demonstrate this. So right now my pocket sensor is set at 30 degrees or 33 which is fine. And it's turned on. And now my phone is actually turned on. And I can be in any app at all. Anything I really want to be. And once I do turn it at that angle, my phone will automatically turn off. The screen will turn off, not fully turn off, just sleep mode. So let me go and show you that. And just about any time, boom, it turns back on or off. And now it turns back on once I get to that normal angle. So I'll show you that once more. So let's go and do that once more. And it's very useful for people who hate pressing that power button as it can become very annoying. Um, and, you know, you don't want to constantly press it and then, you know, swipe your hand putting in a password and all that little crazy stuff. So it's very cool, very useful for you guys. Um, and you can also do this with table sensor. Um, of course, you can do the, you have to get the pro version if you want a wider angle. Um, but let me go and change my uh, camera angle so you can actually see it actually does work with table and phone. Okay, so as you can see, my phone is turned on. And now when I go and put it down at a uh, straight angle, at a 10 degree angle, um, my screen will actually turn off. And just think about me, I'm actually putting it at a straight angle as me as I would put it on a table. So I'm going to show you that very slowly. And you should be able to see that screen turn off. And as you can see, it's turned off. I'll just go. And as you can see, the screen is turned off right there. It's black. Once I go and put it back up, it's turned back on. I'll show you this once more, and sorry about it if you guys get a little bad audio. I'm in a very awkward position right now. Um, I'm going to show you that. It is turned off, and I'll show you that just a little peek of that. And boom, when I turn it back on, or move it back up, it turns back on. Um, so let me go and get back to my usual <laughs> setup, and I'll be right back. All right, so well, you guys saw it. You saw the pocket sensor and how well you can do that. And of course, if you have a different angle pockets that you put it in, you can go and change the angle of it either way you want. And you can also choose any direction if you go and put your uh, phone sideways or something like that. Um, that does help. And of course, you got table sensor that works very well. And both of these work very well. And one thing I want to show you right here is proximity sensor. Now, currently, I think only Galaxy S4 devices, as far as my understanding, have this little sensor. Um, so if you guys actually you do have these two sensors on your Galaxy S4. Um, all Galaxy S4s have this. Um, this sensor is going to help a lot, but like I showed you, it was turned off during this demonstration. Um, it still works fine without it, but it does help if you have these two turned on. But in the demonstration I was showing you, it was completely turned off just like any other device which doesn't support proximity sensor and only supports a gravity sensor. And of course, you got screen on by motion. You can go and change the sensitivity and the timeout and all the other great stuff. Keep screen on by motion and all that. And the cool thing, one other cool thing I want to show you is, let's say my screen is turned off in the right upward position. I can go and shake it and move just a little bit of movement and it automatically turns back on. So I can go and uh, turn off my screen by accidentally. Maybe I didn't put it in my pocket. I just left it up straight on a stand or something. I can go and shake it a little, just a little bit and it turns on automatically. Um, without any problems whatsoever and I really don't have to touch that power button at all which is really nice and that's why I really guys wanted to show you guys I just want to show you a demonstration of both pocket sensor and table sensor for you guys um, this is a free app but be sure to check out the pro version if you guys want to get that other table sensor and other cool features for your Android device it does support just about every Android device and that if you have a Galaxy S4 be sure to leave those proximity sensors turned on um, it works pretty darn well. I've been using it for the last couple of days and really haven't seen any problems with it. Um, no lagginess or, you know, huge battery drain or anything like that. So be sure to check it out, try it out, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like it in the bottom left hand corner right there. It really does make my day and it really does help me out a lot by subscribing and liking. Only two clicks away to really make my day as I really do enjoy those numbers going up and it shows me you guys support me and you want to see more of these great videos for your Android device.
And be sure to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Love hearing your questions, guys, your comments, and all the great stuff on those three social networks. Everything is down below from subscribing to liking to the app is down below. And my social networks are down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I will be catching you guys very soon in the future. Peace.